Well, George showed back up. Yes, I have the rocket engine heater going. I imagine Jesse's gonna come running out. Yeah, there she is. Buddy can stay in there for a minute. I'm going right back in. Minus 17 is the current wind chill, which is a big improvement over, I think it was minus 45 or six. Not last night, but the night before. Weekend's supposed to be a lot better. They're talking 50 degrees on Sunday. So I'll get back in the shop. Not working on the Bronco in this video. I'll show you what I'm doing here momentarily. I'm gonna let it warm up in here. It, uh, it's pretty cool and this heater is struggling to do that. So I know I've been talking about getting a different heater for the shop, been wanting to get a hanging heater, and I pretty much decided, well, by this time, we've only got really another month left of real cold weather. It could go into March, but generally March things start warming up a little bit. Doesn't take near as much to heat down here. But Mr. Heater, they make these DeWalt heaters and they offered to send me one of these. Who am I to say no to that? And this one is the DeWalt, what a DeWalt DXH135HD. It's 135,000 BTU, so it's a little bit bigger than my, this one here is probably 20, 24, 25 years old. And it's 115,000 BTU. Been a great little heater, never had any trouble with it. And like I said, it's been struggling here the last few days to even keep it comfortable down here. It just runs almost all the time. And I figured 115,000 BTU along with a 135,000 BTU heater, run them both. It should warm it up in here real quick. So I'm gonna get this sucker unboxed and we'll put it together, fire it up, see how it does. Look out, buddy. Cut your nose off. And I believe from what I've seen, this part here, I don't, I'm not using this. I think this is something for, in Canada, I believe. They put these on the front, I'll show you, but they put them on the front. It's supposed to keep you from walking into the front of the heater. I don't think I'm gonna be using that. I think the first thing I need to do is get the wheels on this thing. All right, I'm gonna tip this up. I'm gonna tip this up on its side. On this heater, it looks like the wheels are at the front. My other heater, the wheels are at the back. So, assume this must go right in there. Let's get this plastic out of the way. You got, you got two of these. Looks like one goes, one goes, up. one goes here, and then one goes on the front. I really want to lay it down without the start around it, but I might have to. So I'm gonna get this bolted up together here and uh, have that done. Put it in the wrong place. Needs to go back further. I'm gonna have to do something with this styrofoam. That ought to work a little better. Then to put the, the wheels on, you got a wheel spacer. And you slide that on. And that there. that in, which I don't have a, a pair of pliers. I'll put that on. I don't really think you need that big of a cotter pin, but it's kind of hard to bend over. Then the axle, get it in there, and then this is on the outside, which will, like that. So I'm going to do the other side, I'm going to put this other handle, I don't know if you can see. So I'm going to do the wheel on the other side, get this other handle up here and the two, the two cross pieces and uh, be pretty much done. So I've got the heater all set up and I filled the tank, it's about half full. I'm burning diesel fuel, 
And I think we're ready to go. I got it plugged in. This here uh, says do not remove. It's got uh, a bunch of warnings and startup and maintenance something or other. So anyway, leave that there. And I think all we need to do, turn it on, see what happens. Need to, uh, need to adjust the thermostat here. And right now it is 46 degrees in the shop. So we'll turn this on. Oh, no, there it goes. I guess it was turned on. I'm not sure if it's. It seems to be a little quieter than the other one. I'm going to uh, do a little check on that. I don't have a decibel meter, but I do have an app on my phone, and we'll we'll test it out. I'm going to let it warm up in here, though. Let me fire this one up too. There we go. That ought to put some heat in here. Well, I had both of these running in here. I don't remember what I said the temperature was before I started. It took about 10 minutes and we're up to 70 degrees. Shot this one off that way. And normally how I heated the shop and it seemed to work pretty good. I run this heater off that way and that fan was normally sitting over here a little further and it'd blow air off that way and kind of keep air circulating around in here seemed to work about the best i could figure out but i think it was 40 some degrees before i started that that old heater by itself it, it would have taken it probably an hour if not more to heat it up to 70 degrees and i'll run these again here in a minute side by side this one is burning a lot hotter than that one. That one, looking at it next to this one, just looks like it isn't running quite right. Maybe it needs the pressure turned up a little bit or something. It's never been adjusted. But the front of this one glows pretty hot red. This one, not so much. And if you put your hand out in front of this one, I don't know, three feet or so, you, you can't hold your hand there too long. And that one, you can so maybe this one hasn't been running quite up to snuff for a while but if i can heat it up that quick in the shop that's uh, probably going to save some on fuel i believe each one of these burns about a gallon an hour if it's just running non-stop about a gallon an hour so yeah when they're both running i'm burning twice as much fuel but if it takes a fraction of the time to warm it up in here that should save on fuel a little bit so i have a decibel reader app on my phone and even if it isn't accurate, we should be able to tell which one of these heaters is louder than the other. I'm pretty sure my old one is louder than this one. So I'm gonna fire, I'm gonna fire this one up, let it get running, and we'll take a look and see how, uh, see what it reads on that app. So I've got that meter. It's about three feet in front of both those heaters, pretty much centered between them. And right now, the old heater. 74 looks like 74 5 6 kind of bounces around 75 looks to be about average so I'll shut that one off get that one running we'll see what it does I'll tell you one thing, that one sure lights up a lot faster. I mean, not that this one takes very long, but as soon as you give it power, it's pretty much kicking on. So I'll wait a couple minutes and we'll see what the reading is. And lo and behold, it is pretty much the same. really any difference now the weird thing is I just fired that one up it's not quite up to temp operating temperature yet but it really didn't change it didn't change a whole lot so I don't know maybe that thing isn't very accurate to me it seems like that one's quieter and I'm not sure why. Maybe it doesn't, maybe the sound doesn't come out to the side as much as this because the burner's back inside that tube a little further. I don't know. This one just seems louder to me.
Now one cool thing about the DeWalt heater here, it has this little box under the burner. That way you can heat your lunch up in there. Actually, I don't really know what it's for. Maybe put your gloves or something in there. And one other nice thing on this one is it has a built-in fuel gauge. I got so I could pretty much tell when I could put another five gallons in this heater just by the just by the weight of it on the front, but I've been using it for years and years too. And this one does have a built-in thermostat. I think it's supposed to go from 25 degrees up to 95. On the other one, I had this thermostat, which works pretty good, and I may continue to use that just because it shows you the temperature and you can set the temperature for different times. And it also has an on-off switch here, which this one doesn't. You just give it power and it turns on. So overall, while I wasn't really, I think the dogs are wanting in, but overall, while I wasn't really in the market for another torpedo heater or forced air kerosene heater, whatever you want to call them, I am glad to have it running both of these. I can heat it up real quick. Now just to pick up my mess, oh, this thing here. I guess this is a requirement, at least it, what it said anyway, a requirement in Canada. And it would go, let's see, it looks like it goes, goes on there like that. I believe the purpose, actually it's bent. I believe the purpose of it though is to keep you from walking into the front of your heater. But I won't be using that. So, yeah. So now just to clean this up, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this box. These cats seem to like it. Yeah, there he is. I'll leave you alone. He's not real tame. So I think this heater is going to be a welcome addition to the shop. Next year I really would like to get a hanging heater. Thinking about putting one over here in this corner. But really, like I said, if we can get through February, I think things are gonna be okay. We'll have to run the heater some in March, but it won't be running near as much as it is right now. So pretty simple to put together, pumps out the heat pretty well. And so far I have nothing bad to say about it. If anything comes up, I will be sure to let you know, but I think, it, uh, I think it's gonna be good. And I'll put a link down in the description for one of these heaters if you would like to get one for your very own. And with that being said, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time on the Bronco. Bye bye.